Hey, we got a bunch of new subscribers on the channel. You know what that means. More people sending me their shitty, shitty robot ideas that I have to publicly shame you for. Last time I took your robot ideas and I actually built them. Not because they were good, but because they were so excruciatingly bad that I wanted to show you they were bad and cyberbully you so hard that no one else would ever want to post a robot idea on my video again. Maybe this was not clear to some of you because you posted 40,000 robot ideas on that video. Let's take a look at some of them. Make a door that moans when you open it. <laughs> That's, see, I get it. It's funny because it moans. You deserve the death sentence. Donkey83 says, build a robot that tases you every time your heart beats. Just because you put a taser on something doesn't make it an interesting robot. Ex like, except for like when I do it, then it's like super, then it's super like sick and cool and awesome and sick. Challenger Scam says, build a robot that wakes you up if you don't wake up by a certain time that is a fucking alarm clock. Darren R says, build a desk that, that tases you every few seconds. And see, it's funny because it has a taser in it. You know what? I'll, okay, fuck, fuck it, fuck it. I'll build it. I'll build the taser. I'll show you how to build. So the first step in building a tasing desk is obviously the taser. This is just like a cheap one I got kind of off of Amazon. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh! Uh, how could I have forgotten? I already built a taser desk. <laughs> fuck, this is so stupid. Do you also hate being able to put your hands or any other part of your body near your desk? Boy, have I got the thing for you. It's taser desk. Taser. The taser desk sleek aluminum design makes it the perfect addition to any home, ah! <sighs> home or apartment. The design is so discreet, you won't even notice the electronics that make taser desk work, including microcontrollers, relays, and you guessed it, 13 tasers hot glued to each other. I don't know how I got here. Please fucking send help. Just look at how much this customer liked it. Hey, Fed, you want to help me test out something? No. Just come upstairs now? No. Come upstairs? No, no, come upstairs. It's something a subscriber suggested to me, so I just like built it. Just have a seat. What the fuck? No, dude, no, what the fuck? <laughs> just have a seat. No, 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 no please just have a seat. Why did, you, why did you close it? Why are the lights red? Don't worry about no. it. So this is a new type of desk designed to help you work uh, more efficiently. It's gonna give you like a book. Just put your arms hey, on the, you, so bro. just put your arms on the desk. Yeah. Fine, right? See how it's fine? Yeah. Nothing's happening yet. Yeah, yeah. Just don't worry, just read it. Okay. I can't see. Oh, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> you just wanna. <laughs> <laughs> Fed, come back, I need more help testing this out. <laughs> so why wouldn't you want a taser desk? It's this really cool, really interesting invention that... Hey, Darren R, I'm, I'm trying real hard, man. I'm trying real hard to make this an interesting invention, but it's just not, it's just not gonna fly. Man, I'm at the end of my fucking wit here. Man, if I, if I ever see you in my fucking comment section again, I swear to God, Darren R, I will ban you faster than my parents dropped me as a child. Do you fucking understand me? Do you understand? Get your taser desk for three easy payments of whatever the fuck you want to pay for it. I don't want it in my house anymore. Let's just go to the next one. Uh, Conga Foam says, build a chair that kicks you off of it as soon as it senses you sit down. Huh. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, could I borrow that? Thank you, are you using this? No? Okay, cool. Are you using that? Thank you. We got chair, we got tube, we got pipe, we got metal, we got solenoids, and we got Chinese piston big enough to kill me if I'm not careful with them. I am Iron Man. What the fuck are you doing? Chip, piston, connect them. Use caveman brain to bend metal in circle. Spend 15 minutes bending the metal into place. That's just the beginning. But you got this, right, Pass Michael? Mm, I'm gonna kill myself, I'm gonna kill myself, I'm gonna kill myself, oh my ah, god. Ah, I see. Cheers, chop, grind, Ben. Congratulations. You need to do all that shit three more times or it won't work. Thank you, Conga Phone, you shitty fucking evil. And bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a piston chair. But Michael, I hear you ask, does it work? Hell yeah, it works. I mean, it's, it just kind of falls over, but that's all it's supposed to do. But how does it work? I don't fucking know, man. I threw some electronics in there. It does this now. Don't worry about it. What you should be worried about is how we're going to detect when someone sits on the chair. I was thinking a weight sensor at first, but then I realized that's a bad idea when I forgot to buy it. So now I'm kind of freaking out trying to make this work. But while I was spurging out, I was fucking with this little package of mints, and I realized if you apply pressure, the two sides touch, but if you take it away, they return to their original shape, kind of like a button. So if we just added electrical contacts to both sides, we could detect when someone is sitting on the chair. Now, obviously, this is too small. We need a much larger quantity of plastic. Oh, hi, plastic trash can. Buy plastic trash can. Here is my homemade pressure sensor, which is really just a piece of trash can plastic and some tin foil. But hey, it works as a button and it detects when I sit on it, so I don't care. All we gotta do is slip that underneath the upholstery and BAM! A chair you can't fucking sit on. 
Oh. I spent 12 hours making this. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Why do I make these? Hey, Lily, you wanna try? Sit in my chair. Sit in my chair. Now, sit in my chair. Yeah. Come sit in my chair. Come sit in my chair. <laughs> Yvonne, buddy, it's me, it's your best buddy Michael. You wanna try out a quirky new invention I have? Come with me, buddy. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's try a quirky new invention. Come on, buddy. Close your eyes. Walk with me. Walk with me. All right, now open your eyes. Look. <laughs> it's my new invention. You know me. I'm that invention guy. I'm quirky and silly. I make robots. Is that an electric chair? This is something one of my viewers suggested that I build, and I built it for them. Have a seat in my electric, in my pneumatic chair. <laughs> fucking win. I like your robot ideas now. I like them so much that I built a robot just to help me look at more of your ideas. I built it just for you, people who feel the need to leave your shitty, re really good, really awesome robot ideas in my fucking comment section. Come here, come take a look at it. Here's the Python code that controls my idea machine. It looks through my Twitter for robot ideas that you guys have sent me. Let's test it out by tweeting something like, oh, I don't know, give me your robot ideas because I love them so, 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 so much. So it's been a couple minutes since I sent that tweet, so let's start up the software. Now, the program is looking through Twitter for your juicy, juicy robot ideas to send to the idea machine, and oh, it sounds like it got one. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out the idea printer. Now, the idea printer is gonna print out a perfect replica of one of your ideas. It's just gonna take a second. And finally, it'll print it onto the idea conveyor belt for me to admire and appreciate. Ah, make a robot that poops cereal. That's very Oh no, what is it? What's going on? Oh, it's going into the idea shredder. Oh no, that's what's gonna happen to all your ideas if that, oh no, the idea shredder. How could I have forgotten about the idea shredder? That means that it's not gonna stop until all your shitty robot ideas are shredded up. Oh, look at that one, there's another one. A robot that whenever you scream the lyrics to the Vegemite song, it brings you Vegemite. That is so quirky and funny. I hope it doesn't get shredded up. Oh no, oh no, there it goes in the idea shredder. That is such a shame. Remember to like and subscribe and comment something that isn't a shitty robot idea idea on my video, goodbye. Have you ever wanted to buy a bunch of cheap Chinese electronics or a big metal piston or, you know, like some like some normal people shit? Well, today's sponsor, Honey, can help you out. For those of you who don't know, Honey is a free online shopping tool that automatically searches for promo codes and applies them to your cart when you're shopping online. I personally use Honey the most when I'm shopping for cheap Chinese electronics on sites like AliExpress or Banggood. But let's say you're, I don't know, shopping for a paper shredder to shred the ideas of your worst, most hated enemies. All you have to do is shop normally and then at checkout, you click this little button that says, apply apply coupons and you wait a few seconds and then boom, you save 30 bucks without having to do anything. Honey supports over 30,000 online stores and those of you who have signed up using my link have already saved $240,000. I don't know if they're giving me a bullshit number. That's fucking insane. I'll say it again. I like Honey personally because you don't have to do any work. It just sits on my computer and like it saves me money every now and again. It's just like I don't have to put anything in and I get something out of it. It's free to use and installation just takes two clicks like this. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Reeves. That's joinhoney.com slash Reeves. They made me say it twice. I don't know why. You probably heard it the first time.